Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It is Bayern Munich up against Inter. Well, I've been looking forward to this one ever since they were drawn together. They're two excellent teams with a host of top-quality players. This should be a really interesting first leg. Joaquin, Martinez, and showing fine vision, and a bit short with the clearance, Arturo Vidal, in it goes, an early opening statement in this match, and look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Marcel Zabitza versus Müller. Lewandowski. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Now sending it in. What's he going to do here? Muller. Well, what a stop that was. He has time to play it over. Sané. This could square the game. But the keeper has... of things well that was a big chance and really he should have taken that but let's give credit to the goalkeeper it's a decent save and now the delivery well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Beautifully weighted ball. And a goal here for Bayern. Beyond the goalkeeper, Bayern on terms. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. And Lewandowski moving through the gears. A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike.
lovely ball. Is it going to be? And the keeper got there. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, that would have put the game to bed. He had to score there. Will it prove costly? And that is that, the final whistle. And Bayern Munich will carry with them a lead into the second leg. Well, it's a slender lead, but one I think they deserve. They were certainly the more fluid team in possession. But the second leg will be just as tight. And I would say it's 50-50 who will advance. A performance you've got to conclude that he'll be proud of. I'm talking, of course, about Thomas Müller. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.